But y'all already know I'm gonna slide up in there. Um. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Via Glow. If you're new here, my name is Gloria and I'm a full time reseller on multiple different apps and I resell clothes and shit. So in today's video, I have yet another Goodwill Benz haul. All right, so I'm gonna show you the three pairs of shoes I got. I'm gonna be honest, I was a little sneaky and um, I just kind of put these in my tote, not intentionally, but I kind of forgot because um, usually I like to set the shoes to the side just so they can just, you know, price them accordingly. But I forgot, I threw them in the bins when I was doing my comps, so here we are. So the first pair is Bach or B-O-C. Um, these are just like some flip-flops if you will it is actually not genuine leather and that was kind of upsetting um, I almost put them back but I'm like it is the bins and I can sell these between 20 to 25 and the second pair I think the same person dropped these off is a pair of Vionics um, I think this is actually a pretty good brand to pick up I personally wouldn't pick it up at a thrift store but at the bins it's good to go um, this is like a comfort shoe brand so a lot of people that like to have comfortable shoes sandals heels whatever you want to call it love this brand and this is what the bottom looks like um, it's not that bad actually all right and then the last pair of shoes is these Tory Burch ballet flats um, just some basic black ones. These are 100% leather and I believe the bottom is made of just like rubber and um, they did have the tag on them so they were in a Goodwill location but they didn't sell because I'm sure they overpriced them. Um, so I went on and got them. These are actually a size eight and a half. Shows a little bit of wear um, but for the most part that's pretty much the only place so not a like new condition but a, a decent condition. So now we move on to the clothing. Um, so this one is actually a pair of Free People, the Intimate Free line. Um, this is just a sub brand of Free People, but this is pretty much what the tag looks like. These are actually a size large. I picked them up and I saw that the flaw was the drawstring. So this drawstring is actually inside the band. Um, and I threw them back and then I thought about it. I'm like, that's not really gonna affect this. So I went on and picked them up because they are of a larger size and the detail to them was really pretty. This is in the haul. I actually just picked this stuff up this week and this sold yesterday, okay, yesterday. And it's just this basic ass logo, spell out Abercrombie and Fitch sweater. Anyways, uh, so the next one is this blank NYC, um, faux leather, faux suede, if you will, um, waterfront cardigan jacket. Of course, we already know we are not in the season of picking up fall and winter. However, at the bins, I'm going to pick it up, but this is actually a size small. All right. So this is a, a new brand to me. I know I keep talking about the eBay uh, resellers that I watch, but they have kind of tapped me into a different category that is kind of good. Um, I actually recently just sold a dress shirt by a brand called David Donahue, which is this one, and it sold for $25. So I'm gonna start picking it up. Um, this is actually probably one of the um, the best dress man shirt brands that I have picked up recently that has sold pretty quickly. So um, yeah, this is a size 17. And honestly, I didn't really know like the sizing. I believe it's the, like, the neckline, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I tapped into picking up man's dress shirts and they've been um, performing decently. So I'm gonna continue to pick them up. This is gonna be a new to me brand called Brooks Brothers, also a men's dress shirt. Um, so yeah, I am doing this and I know that the one of the resellers, he kind of like exclusively sells men's dress shirts and like men's clothing. Um, because if you really think about it, men's clothing is not as big as women's clothing, which is really smart for a business. So um, I think that's pretty cool that he niched down to that market because it doesn't have that many people in it. So, but y'all already know I'm going to slide up in there. Um, but anyways, uh, this is just a Jordan's Youth uh, Windbreaker. This is a J. Jill jacket. This is an old style. However, this jacket is doing great. I typically check comps and sell through rate with stuff like this. <laughs> um, but this one I'm going to sell between $25 to $30. And this is actually a size uh, small. And of course, I picked this up just because it is J. Jill. And J. Jill has been um, doing decent for me. It's become a bread and butter in my closet. So I like to pick it up anytime I can. Um, this is Zara. 
I picked this one up strictly off of the fact that it is 100% linen and is actually still sold on the website. And it's just this really pretty um, casual blouse. This is giving very much so coastal. This one is a new to me brand called um, Jant Zen. Yeah, but this is the sport, I believe one. Um, and I don't know, I picked this up because one, I love how it looked, but then comps were pretty decent. So I'm gonna get between 15 to 25. I think I have this one listed at 25. So, you know, anything between 15 to 25, I'll accept. And it's just like a tankini, I get, think that's what it's called. And this is actually a size small, so. We grab that. Let me know if you've ever found that brand. I do believe that it is a um, vintage brand, like early uh, 2000s, late 90s brand, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this is Ralph Lauren, but it is denim and supply. I do believe that this brand um, is no longer sold anymore, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I just picked this one up because I thought that, you know, it would be a great pickup just because when something is no longer sold, sometimes some people love a brand or a style of an item and then they can't find it anymore because it's no longer in stores. So they turn to the secondhand market and, you know, I want it to be in my closet so I can get their money. Um, but this is actually a size extra large in men. All right. So the next one is this Victoria's Secret um dress is just a midi dress i typically would never pick something up like this but i decided to check comps and the comps looked really good for victoria's secret dresses like i was shocked so i'm looking to get between about 30 to 40 dollars for this i think i may have priced mine at 25 or 28 just so i can get a quicker flip but um yeah i went on and picked it up and it's just a sleeveless dress it does have like this ruching to the waistline and it is a midi style and it is a size large so we got her this one is a banana republic 100 percent italian wool sweater so i picked it up it's very lightweight so this is going to be great going into fall and it does have the heart detail all over it's like embroidery which is so pretty so yeah i picked this one up and this is actually a size medium these are a pair of american eagle jeans these are the mom straight jean and they're just a black pair of distressed uh jeans and these are an extra long size six so that's why i got them because that size is you know kind of like a unicorn uh for some people in the secondhand market so of course you want to make that available to some of them these are a pair of tall bits pants and these are the high waist straight pant these are size 12 and they are just a blue pair of work trousers i got these strictly off of the size um i don't think i've sold Talbot's pants, but I've been having a little bit of luck with selling business wear trousers, so I thought I'd test those out. This is a new to me brand. I think I heard um, Mogi Beth talk about it. I don't think I got a good style, but the brand is called Billy Reed. So these feel so soft, like it just feels really supple. I don't even know how to really describe it. Um, not necessarily terry cloth because it feels really soft not velour I don't really know um, what to call it but these are just like a super uh, skinny jean they are really long <laughs> so you damn near have to be a skeleton uh, to fit into these but these are 100% cotton I couldn't find anything else so I do believe that these are in women um, but the inseam is long as shit like I told y'all I don't know this was more so just like i've never found this brand so let me pick it up i do that kind of often at the bands and i try to learn some lessons sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but we'll see about it later these are a pair of gap denim jeans now i only picked these up strictly off of style these are their flare and then i also picked them up because they were a larger size so these are a size 14 32 and someone i don't know if this style came with the elastic waist um, but maybe someone actually put that in so not only does it has that elastic waist but it does have that button front fly and then you have this really groovy ass flare leg so we love that it does have a little bit of wear um, at the heel but that's okay I wanted to try these on so bad but I'm too short and I would just drown in these so I passed all right so these were just like a pair of capri wide leg crop pants 
So that's the only reason why I got them, just because the style is very much so in. So I went on and picked them up. I'm looking to get maybe between $15 to $20 for those. I know not much, but it was worth a pickup. Um, these are another pair of American Eagle jeans. These ones are actually just a regular size, and these are size 6. And this is the mom jean as well. I do think the same person dropped both of these off just because they are both a pair of black jeans, and they are distressed, size 6. Um, so yeah. I went on and got these as well. Um, the mom jeans um, are, I feel like they might be kind of sliding out the door because the flare and the boot cut is like kind of in right now. So um, we'll see about it. I initially picked these up for myself, um, but since I am 5'2", these just look like regular jeans and then they float for like an inch off of my ankle. So it just looks really bad. <laughs> so uh, these are a pair of Wrangler jeans and this is their high rise kick flare. And it's so pretty, like they look so nice. It's just that since I'm short, this literally just looks like I'm wearing some high waters and it just looks really bad. But these are actually a size uh, 34. So yeah. And then my last pair of jeans is a pair of Citizens of Humanity. I try to steer clear of this brand uh, for the most part, but I did check uh, sell through rate comps. Um, and this is the Ava style. These are the low rise straight leg. I've been really, really, really trying to stay away from skinny jeans. Like if y'all notice, there's no skinny jeans in sight, okay? Unless it's mother, then I'll pick them up. But yeah, so this is just a straight jean and then it is low rise. Citizens of Humanity, the comps look decent, so I'm looking to get about a good um, 20 to $25 for these. Not a lot, but doable. And these are size 25. All right, the next one is this Levi's like shacket. Honestly, y'all, if I can fit this by the time winter time comes, I'm probably gonna pull this um, just because it's like a, it's like a, a shirt, but it's like a fleece. I want to say a shacket, but I don't even think it's a shacket. But it just looked really dope, and I love that it's two tone. Um, and this is actually a size uh, medium. Yeah, this is actually a size medium in men's. So yeah, like I said, if it's still here by the time um, you know fall winter rolls around, I'm probably gonna keep it. All right, so this is a new to me brand, but I've picked it up before only because. Um, the first one had some branding on it and I think that is what's making it become a slow seller because this brand definitely does pretty decent for the most part on eBay I know for sure um, and it's just like this PFG type of uh, top for men which is like for fishing and all of that fun stuff golfing and all of that fun outdoor um, you know activity because it does have a um, you know what is it SPF protection on it. So yeah, I got this one and this one is a 2XL. So I'm hoping to sell that fairly quickly because of the sizing. And lastly, this is Wrangler. And this is a size large. And it's just like this open front knit cardigan. Very casual. I think this is gonna do great in the fall time. So that's why I went on and got it. And I just love the print. It's just like pretty roses and stuff all over. But yeah, that is my haul. Um, I know that in my vlog, I'll probably link it down below for you guys. Um, I talked about, oh, I'm not excited about anything I got. This is the items that I got. Um, so I guess the only thing I really am quote unquote excited about um, is probably the Tory Burch uh, ballet flats. That's probably it. Everything is just like essentially a closet filler. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for tuning in and watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bad 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 Bad